Good day, students. In the last video, we started to introduce you to some problems involving index laws. So we're going to continue that in this video. Now, what I'm going to do for the remaining videos of this series is ask you to try each of these questions on your own, see how far you get. And then once you've had a go at it, then uh, restart the video and see if you were correct or if you got a, at least a good start to it. So go ahead and try that first question on this page. Okay, let's see how you went. Okay, now we're going to start by using index law number one to raise, uh, sorry, um, to multiply two powers with the same base. So to multiply two powers with the same base, add the indices. So this is just index law number one to start with. My base is a fraction, but that's okay. So that becomes f over g in brackets, all to the power of 3 plus 2, which is 5. So you could leave it like that. Let's rewrite it without the brackets. So now we have to use index law number three, which is to say, f. so index law four, I think it is, f on g to the power of 5 can be rewritten as f to the power of 5 over g to the power of 5. So we used index law number 1 to write it as a single power, and then we used index law number 4 to write it without brackets. Okay, try this one. This is similar. It's a little bit harder, but not too much. So have a go at this, and then restart the video, please. Okay, let's see how you went here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is simplify this because I've got a power raised to a power. So let's go ahead and these, these bases aren't the same, so I can't multiply them. So this is going to become a to the power of 8 over, because that's 4 times 2, that's index law number 3, and b to the power of 4. So I rewrite that as a fraction by using to raise a power to a power multiply powers and index law four that I can raise each of those to the power of two. Okay, let's do the second one. Well, that's b to the power of six over a to the power of six. So once again, we apply index law number four. We can put the power on both the numerator and denominator. Okay, now we can go ahead and simplify this. Because we're multiplying, we can divide out common factors, or we can just apply index law number 2. So here we have a to the power of 8. Here we have a to the power of 6. In fact, I'll do one more step before I do that. I'm going to write this as a single fraction. a to the 8 by b to the 6 over b to the 4 by a to the 6. So when we're multiplying, we multiply numerators, and then we multiply denominators. So a to the 8th divided by a to the 6th is just a to the 8 take 6, which is a to the power of 2. b to the 6th divided by b to the 4th is just b to the 6 minus 4, which is 2. So all of that simplifies to a squared, b squared. Okay, let's try a couple on the next page. So what I'd like you to do here is again is have a go at this, raising a power to a power, and see how you go with that one. And once you've got an answer or you get stuck, then start the video, restart the video, and see how you went. Okay, let's see how we go here. Now, first we have to raise a power to a power. So that's w to the fourth, all to the power of three is w to the twelfth. z cubed, all to the power of three is z to the ninth. w to the fifth, all squared, is w to the five times two, which is ten. And z squared squared is z to the power of 2 times 2, which is 4. So to, in this case, we say w to the fourth all cubed. We have to multiply the powers. Now w to the twelfth divided by w to the tenth is just w to the 12 minus 10, which is 2. z to the ninth divided by z to the fourth 
is just z to the 9 subtract 4, which is 5. So all of that simplifies down to w squared times z to the 5th. OK, have a go at this question. It's very similar to the one above it. And once you've uh, had a go, restart the video and see how you went. OK, c to the 7th, e to the 5th, all squared becomes c to the 7th squared, which is c to the 7 times 2, which is 14. e to the 5th, all squared becomes e to the 5 times 2, which is 10. In our denominator, c to the 4th to the 3rd is c to the 12th. e squared to the cubed, or e squared to the power of 3 is e to the power of 6. OK, we can now further simplify this because we have the same base. c to the 14th divides c to the 12th is c to the 14 minus 12, which is 2. e to the 10th divide e to the 6th is e to the 10 minus 6 which is e to the 4. OK, in the next video, we'll uh, continue working with problems that involve more than one index law.